I'm Jarek from Qualitative Researcher and in this video I just want to briefly talk about coding. I want to explain what coding is and why we need it. I talk a lot about coding and different approaches to coding and other aspects of data analysis in my videos and in my blog, but I do realize that some of you may be uh, complete beginners to research and you may be wondering uh, what coding is in the first place. So despite its uh, slightly scary and overwhelming and misleading name, uh, coding is really not that difficult. Uh, most importantly, it's nothing really scientific. It doesn't require you to uh, have any knowledge of any programming languages or anything like that. Uh, coding is simply uh, applying certain labels uh, to certain fragments of the text, of your qualitative data. It's just a way of categorizing your data. It helps you make sense of that data. So if you uh, collected 20 interviews, you just want to uh, somehow label these different parts of the interview to later be able to find these extracts easily and uh, just to understand what uh, the extract, uh, what the interview transcripts, the interviews were about and to see similarities and differences between all these transcripts. So of course you need uh, some way of categorizing all that information and uh, summarizing that information uh, in, a, in an easy and effective way. So this is when you apply coding. Think about the example of uh, reading a printed version of an academic article. So if you printed an academic article and you're reading that article and you don't want to miss a certain information you're looking for, uh, what is the first thing that you will be doing? Of course you will be making notes. So you may be using highlighters, you may uh, circle some parts of text or you may highlight uh, this text and then uh, somewhere in the margin you'll be making notes. So for example, uh, if you're looking for something specific, let's say uh, justification of uh, why to use interviews. So let's say you're working on a study or you're working on your dis uh, dissertation and you need to explain and justify why you chose interviews. So you may be looking in another article and uh, see how they justify the use of interviews. So once you find it, once you find that explanation, you may uh, highlight that piece of, uh, that part of text or that segment or sentence, and uh, you may make a note, something like uh, justification for the use of interviews or maybe advantages of interviews. So what you have just uh, done is you have coded that piece of text with this code uh, called advantages of interview or justification uh, for using interviews. And this is really what coding is about. It's about categorizing and sorting your data. So applying these different names in order to understand later on, uh, to be able to look at this coding framework, so that list of codes, and understand uh, what was, uh, what kind of topics were discussed or what was covered in that data set. In terms of approaches to coding, there are many. Uh, some are more detailed, so some people uh, suggest uh, coding almost every line or every line of the text uh, and others uh, suggest using more general codes. It also depends on the aims of your study or uh, how big the study is. And regarding the question of how to code or what software to use, I always recommend using some kind of software. I personally use NVivo, uh, as you may have seen from many videos I record, uh, but there is also a more affordable option, which is Quercus. This is another software that I have recently uh, discussed in this channel. Uh, and in one of my recent videos, I even explain how to do coding with Microsoft Word. So in any case, uh, the use of some kind of software uh, is something I definitely recommend. It's just easier to make sense of this coding framework if you have it uh, on your computer rather than uh, coding by hand or coding manually. So this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have uh, more questions about coding or qualitative data analysis, feel free to put these questions in the comments under the video. Uh, and if you feel that you learned something new from this video, please like the video and consider subscribing to this channel, which is all about helping you develop and conduct a study that will make an impact.